So this is my Vortex J-Tube burn tunnel and Vortex chamber. The little corners in the Vortex chamber have deteriorated and, and they've basically, they've gone. Um, but this is what's left. I mean, it's three years old. It's still in quite good condition. Those were the original secondary air holes and that piece of vehiculite just slotted above the, um, the burn chamber. But I want to replace that. I want to replace that with ceramic glass and give it like a 15 mil gap above the ceramic glass and then put the vermiculite on top. And that will in effect give a, um, a secondary air flow above the burn tunnel and superheat the air. And hopefully it will go into the vortex at the top. Um, so I'm gonna place it, the bridge, the sort of gap in between um, where the restriction is and the whole, cover the whole of, of the burn tunnel with the ceramic glass. So it will go across here and um, hopefully the air will flow for there, it'll be superheated and it'll enter the vortex chamber at, um, at the top of it and burn off any smoke that might make it through. So here we are, I've got it in position, I've replaced the little corner bits with some insulating fire brick and they do tend to deteriorate but everything's three years old, I think, I think it's three years, it might be older but and you can see the little piece of glass which I've put in. So it's, it's a 20 mil gap, it's quite a big gap but it's 20 mil above that and that travels, travels above the, um, the burn um, tunnel and the air is going to go down that major slot travel along and enter into the vortex chamber just right there um, and I mean it's going to enter directly into the flow and uh, we'll see how it works uh, the beauty of these J-tubes they seem to work no matter what you do I mean they're, they're, as long as you've got the, an insulated riser and uh, and you've got the dimensions right they just, they just always work it seems to me I love them they're just fantastic so anyhow we've lit the fire um, as usual, it takes like five minutes, seven minutes, and, and we're off. We've got um, a beautiful vortex going there. You can see the fire and the vortex. It's quite an interesting uh, perspective. But um, yeah, and I know my camera never picks up the vortex in detail. I'd need a, a decent um, camera to be able to pick that up. I must get one one day. But trust me, that is a, a really um, impressive spinning vortex. I'll just try out a lot. We'll see if the secondary air works. Um, you look down and you can see an incredible glow. Oh, I'll just put this stick out. Right. And I mean, wow, that is just pulling in the smoke like you wouldn't believe. That is suck, suck, sucking that smoke in. So that proves that that secondary air is working. I know it's quite a big gap, but because it's so hot in there, I thought the air would be expanding a lot and I needed to leave a big gap. So, um, I mean, whether or not it's working any better than it was before, I mean, it was a very successful stove previously and I'd have to test it for a longer period, I'd have to leave it burning for a few hours. And whether or not the ceramic glass will withstand, you know, prolonged burning is rated at 750 um, centigrade. And I guess with the cooler air going in, it might uh, sort of make it survive. I'm not worried about it going opaque. I'm more worried about it actually melting. So we'll have to see. I haven't got time to keep it running today, but maybe tomorrow I'll light it and keep it going for sort of three or four hours and we'll see what happens. And then I have to decide if it's worthwhile um, keeping it installed. Um, and this is it's still in experimental stages, but I mean, that seems great. I mean, it seems to really work very, very well. I'm very impressed. It's a very clean vortex. I don't see any vortex rising up into um, um, up the riser at all. It seems to be staying at the bottom. And uh, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll, I'll light it again tomorrow and give it a good burn and see. And then if it is successful and if it really is work, I haven't even got my temperature gun. I need to check the top temperatures. Uh, and I mean, it's normally running around about 500 C on top of the barrel. So that would give a bit of an indication whether or not it's working any better. But anyhow, it looks great.